Hello, I'm going to show you how to download Skype to your computer. So open up your search engine and type in Skype. Press enter or click on the search button. And then you want to click where it says get Skype. This will open up the Skype website. And on the right hand side here it says get Skype for Windows. This is what you want to select. Um, if you're using a Mac, you can click on other downloads to find your download for your version there or it may well be that Skype will recognize that you're using a Mac and this may well say get Skype for Mac. So click here and we are going to select download now and I'm going to choose to save the file so it is, it starts downloading the file for me and then I am going to double click on the exe file but yes that's okay because we know where it's coming from security warning box click run and then we want English well I want English because I'm English so um, I'll leave that is but if you want to change you click on the little arrow and you can choose a different language and then click I agree install so while this is downloading, I'll just take a minute to tell you a little bit about Skype. And as you can see on this dialog box, it is telling us a few little things about Skype. It is free calls to anyone who is on Skype. Now that is if you're ringing from computer to computer. Um, and you can make um, video calls using your webcam to them. So you can basically see and hear the person you're talking to. Or if you're a bit shy and you don't want your webcam on, you can just make free audio calls, um, just like the telephone. Um, you can also do um, instant messaging um, in real time. Um, and you can also send files through Skype too, which is very handy. So if you're talking to somebody, say, oh, I've taken a lovely photograph of something here, I'd like you to see it. You can send it through Skype and then they can have a look at it and you can talk about it then. I'm going to show you how to get a Skype name if you haven't already got one um, and basically to get yourself an account. So um, double click on the Skype icon which will be on your desktop or in your program files when you installed Skype and obviously I've got a Skype name but if you don't have a Skype name click here don't have a Skype name. Okay so all you need to do now is quite straightforward fill in your full name um, and, and a Skype name of your choice. Um, you might have to be a little bit creative because a lot of people have got Skype. Then um, it will let you know anyway if it's been taken or not. Put a password in for Skype and repeat it. Um, your email and repeat that as well. You can decide to leave this checkbox checked or not. Um, if you don't want any user promotions just take the tick out and when you're happy with that and all the end user agreements and everything click I agree create account. To start Skype double click on the Skype icon on your desktop um, or in your program menu and then put your Skype name and your password in and I'm going to leave these two boxes with a tick in them down here, these check boxes, because I like Skype to um, start up when I turn my computer on. And then my contacts are notified that I'm then online. Click sign in. I don't know if you noticed, but this, um, the X that was um, greyed out down here, there's now a green tick which shows that I'm online. Down the left hand side you can see my contacts. I've only got one contact at the moment and they are offline as you can see because um, you're seeing the same greyed out X um, icon there. If you need to test your um, microphone um, and speakers you can use the echo test sound service. Now I would always recommend doing this the first time you use Skype. It checks that your microphone and your um, speakers are working properly and it allows you to alter the volume of them and that sort of thing. Alternatively you can go up to the tools menu and go to options and then you can go to video setting and um, audio settings and let you play around with them there, check your webcams working that sort of thing.
To import a contact, you go up to contacts and go to import contacts. Now this is the same option you'll see in the welcome screen when you first sign into Skype. But because I've been in before, I haven't got the welcome screen. Here it lets you import your contacts from other accounts that you may have, such as Facebook, Hotmail, Gmail, Microsoft Outlook, etc. All you do is you fill in the username and password details from those accounts and click import. Now you are given the option um, to deselect contacts. You don't have to um, have exactly the same contacts in your Facebook and your Skype. There may be people in your Facebook account you don't want on Skype. So you just deselect them and then um, they are added to your contact list. Now they have to accept you as a contact from their end as well. And you may be thinking, well, what happens if they haven't got Skype? Well, you will also be given the option to send them an email inviting them to join you on Skype. So that's really, really good and very, very useful. So close that screen down. The other option you've got is to add a contact. And um, it looks slightly different, this screen here. You can basically um, add their email address because um, they may not be on your Skype, they may not be on your um, uh, in any of your other email addresses, but they may be, maybe they're an acquaintance you've met. So you put in their full name, or if you know the Skype name, put it in. I don't know why my phone number's gone German, but anyway, never mind. Um, an email address and click Add. Um, I'll just quickly show you this actually. So say for example you're looking for somebody called John, oh, can't spell, John Brown. And uh, as you can see here, oh right, okay, Skype has found 200 matches. Okay, so this will help you try and track down the person. Um, as you can see, nobody here has got a profile picture, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. Um, and some people have been more specific with where they live. Now I would advise you, um, to be more specific because it does help people find you especially if you don't want a profile picture of your face right I'm going to quickly hop into profile now and show you that so you click on the profile tab and here I have put a picture in and all you need to do to do that is either click on choose picture from file and put one basically from your computer in you can take a snapshot, so that basically turns your webcam on, so you can smile and take a picture and put um, a snapshot of your face in there. You can also choose to remove the picture if you decide you don't like it. You can also add a little message as well, so go, um, welcome to internet lessons. So I've basically put in a little message, so when people um, in your contact list here they click on your face they will also see your little message as well now as you can see down the right hand side some of these things are public and some things are for contacts only so basically your mobile phone number and your home phone number are not dis uh, displayed but um, your um, uh, area um, is so I would recommend you set them um, so people can find you but not necessarily your date of birth I always choose not to put my date of birth on my profile, but that's entirely up to you. But you can see how your profile would look by flicking between public profile and contacts only profile. So you can change your settings by editing them and picking the things that you want to be seen and those things that you don't want to be seen. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make a call. I know Cat C is not online at the moment, but if I click on her name, it brings up generally her information about her and I can choose to call her which would be an audio call only or I can choose to video call her. Now if she hasn't got a webcam but I do she can see me but I can't see her and vice versa. Um, so just to bear that in mind that um, <laughs> you may ring them, she may not have a webcam or he may not have a webcam and you could be filling faces while they're talking and they can see you. So just exercise a little bit of caution with that and make sure you've had your hair done perhaps. If you prefer to chat to them you can type a message in this bottom box here. And even though she's not logged on She'll be able to see that when she logs on next. And you can put a little smiley face in. There we go. 
and click send message there we go so that's how you do an instant message as well just have a play around and familiarize with yourself with skype it's not too complicated and it's absolutely wonderful um, you can get some great use out of it calling your friends and family and colleagues and it's not going to cost you a penny as long as you call from computer to computer if you want to find out about more information about buying credit and that sort of thing the best thing to do is log on to the skype website and use your username and password to log into your account there where you can find out extra things that you can purchase for example they're doing a trial for group um, calling at the moment um, group video conferencing at the moment you can buy your own telephone number um, and then you can buy credit for calling mobiles and landlines that sort of thing okay speak to you later bye bye